Hey everybody, it's Goda Shillian. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. So this is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I sweat my buns off and I detox, I meditate, <laughs> get focused and clear about issues that are important in my life at the moment and I just record it so that I can listen to them again and so hopefully that what I get in here in my meditations helps other people, right? So. I know that I haven't been in here in a while and actually I have been in here. I have been here quite a lot actually, but I just haven't done any vlogs because it's not just the recording of the vlog it's the putting it up and editing it and doing all the stuff you got to do. And then I just haven't had the time because number one, happy 2020, happy new year and happy new decade and happy new energy because as I said last year and even the year before, the cha the times are really, really, really challenging and 2020 brings in a whole new energy and I've been manifesting in my own life, focusing on what, you know, I want to manifest and 2020 is all about manifesting <laughs> and um, I feel it and all my clients feel it. It's like focus your energy on what you want to manifest and it manifests exponentially in this energy. Okay. So that's why it's so critical to be positive <laughs> and keep your wits about you and keep focused on what you want and not what was, or, you know, what brings you down. <laughs> okay. Right on. Okay. So having said that, I've been so busy with readings and that's what I was trying to manifest more abundance and more financial, you know, stability and more clients. So it's fully, it's been like full bore since the new year in terms of doing readings. And I'm so grateful, but I haven't been able to do my blog that much, but I'm going to promise to get it together and do more. Um, I even have a few in the can that I just haven't even put up. So anyway, whatever. Um, so <laughs> What I want to talk to that, you know what, maybe I'll, since it's the new year and the new decade, and I know it's February already, but the, the new Chinese new year just rang in. So let's just say that it's fully into 2020 now and fully into the new energy of everything. And so I was going to talk about something else. I'll do that next time. But let's talk about today, the energy that we're in now, as opposed to last year. And numerologically, it's vastly different. And... And astrologically is vastly different and a lot of outer planets in our solar system are moving into Aquarius in this next year and, and further on. And this is really, really, really the time that we're finally entering into the age of Aquarius. Okay. Finally. And we're really going to start to see transformations on a global scale because of this. And this energy is literally like high technology energy. And so let's use this energy. And this is what I've been saying to manifest what you want, manifest everything that you deserve by your divine right and see the trick. The trick when we come here into this incarnation, into this third dimensional, very low vibrational energy and it's low vibration because it's solid and that's what it takes to have solid matter. Um, because if you're vibrating in a really high frequency, then there's no way that you can have like the sticking of the atoms to create matter. Okay. It's just too busy, busy, right? So in this 2020 energy, the trick is because we're in such a low vibrational place, that to use this energy to focus our minds on what we want. And the, the, the dilemma in being human is we're faced with constant challenges about evolving spiritually and becoming better people and doing the right thing and navigating through this crazy world. And the, the, what happens to people is they end up focusing on the lack or the problems or the difficulties or the challenges or the things that they haven't been able to overcome or whatever and what was and what was and what might be that's not positive and oh my god and so uh oh uh oh so, sorry so all of these things you see are what we attract and the brain is always getting inundated with information all the time and especially like if you watch the news all the time or negative things that hit your brain all the time. The brain has to actually decipher what to process and what to allow to seep into your conscious and your subconscious 
and which ends up manifesting in your life. Okay. And so the trick is to put positive things all around you, you know, and try to keep the p people around you very positive and the information that you see receive very positive and in turn speak positively in the positive as opposed to in the negative. Instead of saying what you don't want, say what you want. Every type of, um, information, however it comes to you should be if possible in a positive frame right? Because then your brain starts to allow the positive stuff to seep in. And then your thoughts start to become more positive in general, because the brain is sort of like, you know, like the old school uh, record album player where the grooves get in the record when you play it over and over in a certain way. And so you don't want to repeat negative synapse bursts in your brain over and over because that's what energetically goes out to the universe to manifest. Okay. So and I've said this in bits and pieces before, but this energy 2020 and beyond is literally ripe for manifestation and manifesting does not always have to be positive. You see, because if you're focused on the lack and if you're focused on the bad stuff, it's bringing more of it in honey bunny. <laughs> and all we want is good stuff from now on. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm manifesting right on. Okay. So I wish everybody a magnificently splendid and blissful and joyful and abundant and prosperous day and week and year and decade. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps people in some way, shape or form. It definitely helps me and peace. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>